Subscribe star.com slash Durst the Worst if you have a video request. But uh, here we have a video of Christopher Rufo going on MSNBC to, I guess, school a CRT uh, monger. We'll check this out. The book is called Not My Idea. Uh, it's being taught in hundreds of schools in Illinois and Chicago. It's actually the subject of a federal lawsuit by a teacher named Stacy Demar. Institutionalized. Uh, who protested this and was forced uh, to teach it. And these are the kind of things you can retreat to the defensible territory of saying it's just looking at his, the history of racism in society. Uh, yes. But when you actually look at the specifics, uh, they're telling kids that they are fundamentally racist because of the color of their skin. They're telling people White. that they should Me. feel shame, guilt and anguish uh, because of their inborn characteristics and traits. Uh, these are the kind of lessons that I've uncovered in dozens of you schools. You won't even say it. It's now being endorsed by the NEA in 14,000 public school districts across the country. Uh, and you can't retreat because parents know what they're seeing every day. Parents know what they're seeing when children come home uh, with workbooks like Not My Idea. Uh, and they're right, right. And they're rightly and very strongly pushing back. So notice he hasn't even said the anti-white question yet. The anti-white rather question. Um, but this... I imagine dude's going to get really triggered. Just watch. Okay, so Eddie, let me let me tell you. This is interesting, and it's something that uh, people won't say when they're on the television set. They won't say at polite dinner parties. I'm not sure why they whisper it or text it or email it to me. But member liberal members yep. of the mainstream mm -hmm. media, Democrats that are huge contributors to the Democratic Party and even people that like work for Democrats. I've heard over the past three or four years, I've got to get my kid out of this private school. They're teaching my seven year old boy that because he's white, he's, you know, a racist, he's part of the pro, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I don't know if you've heard the same thing. I've heard the same thing. Mm -hmm. And and again, it's anecdotal. But it sure does seem to match with more and more it's stories that are going out there. What do you mean? How do we how do we sort through all of this and make sure that we don't we ban uh, CRT, dude. throw out teaching about slavery and teaching about racism over the past four hundred years that we don't throw that out with uh, a war against uh, critical race theory uh, and its extremes. Right. It's going to be. It's we're going to make mistakes. They're going to be peep. They're going to be extremes. They're going to be moments of overreach. I grant that. But part of what we the have entire to do in this moment, Joe, and we've talked about this, is to confront the ugliness of who we are. And part of what I hear in these uh. sorts of arguments is this sense in which that confrontation must be one where we're comfortable, where we feel good about right. who we are, who we are after we confront it. So, in some listen ways, listen to this pulpit get, talk. Let me, let me just, I'm, I'm, I'm scooting up in my chair, Joe, because I'm getting upset. Because we're <laughs> seeing right now in real I'm time a reassertion of the lie. The very thing that keeps us from becoming a different America because we don't want to accept who we are. What wait, 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 wait. gibberish. This is incoherent of, pulpit talk. It's just though, huckster talk. I, this, I, exactly. What are you I talking about? I can believe in two Americas. I can believe uh, that 1776 and 1619 uh, can be merged <laughs> together. That you can that believe project. two things oh, at once. Man. I could disagree with critical race theory, but still believe what you and I have talked about, mm -hmm. that we have a long way to go to being a just uh, uh. A country uh, in the way that uh, the founding document said we were going to be. So it's like reinterpret the founding documents to Gibbs, Gibbs these people more money until they just have it all, basically, until it's all caramel colored and bleak. <laughs> There's no one even remotely like this this dude. He's like halfway based, but he's like trying to meet psychos like this in the middle, like psycho hucksters like that in the middle. Not good. I, I, do I have to choose one or the other? No, 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 no. So part of what I'm thinking is that is once you concede the initial claim that America in some ways comes into being in light of this extraordinarily uh, painful reality, the contradiction that is at the heart of our beginnings. Once you concede that, the way in which you begin to think right. about Just American give in. exceptionalism Just shifts. Concede. Right? Because it's not this idea that we, we are wholly innocent, that we're absolved of our sins, right. that recognizing who we are somehow con 
condemns us to, to hell, as it were, right. that we're being bludgeoned by, by, by our sins and made to feel guilty. That's not what we're saying at all. But we're saying that you have to confront it in order to... He's just saying, like, give in, and then you won't feel like you're being bludgeoned anymore. <laughs> just, like, submit and concede. Like, how about no, uh, huckster-ass motherfucker? No, how about no? Release us into a different future. I want to say Race really hustler, quickly. dude. This sort of argument, this sort of argument is happening right now, and I want us to link it to January 6th. I want us oh to link God. it to the attack on voting rights. This is in effect in my January 6th, like a minor little scuffle between cops that just like, well, also they let them into the Capitol. I mean, everybody's pointed that out and uh, voting rights, like what requiring an ID to vote. That's that's their evidence of voter suppression. Attack on voting rights. Like, what is that? Um... Uh, what is that? It's just, just lies that leftists continuously tell. Whoops. Oh. Gotta continue this video. My view, Joe, an attempt to arrest substantive change in the country. And we give these folk the credit that they're giving, that they're making the arguments in good faith. And I don't think they are. And I'll say it to Christopher well, right to his face. I don't think this is a good faith argument. Period. Okay. So yeah, dude, I mean, that guy's arguing 100% in bad faith as a race hustler. It's just complete nonsense. Um, he's just like submit and gibbs until there ain't nothing to submit and gibbs no more. I mean, that's really the substance of it. <laughs> that's the substance of critical race theory. Don't let anybody try to tell you any anything different. I mean, it's just whitey, submit, concede. He told you right to your fucking face, like... Uh, Submit, concede, and once you just once you sufficiently submit to the ugliness of America's origin, as he said, those are his words. Uh, it won't feel like we're bludgeoning you over the head anymore, as we say. Give us mo gives us money for this, gives us resources for that, gives us programs for this. They've been saying this for decades, and they haven't stopped, and they won't stop. And that's what the critical race theorists are, and that's what they want. They're hucksters, they're hustlers, they're bad faith actors. Yeah, screw them.